I'm a big lover of myth, and every movie that I've done in the last couple of years has all been rooted in stories that are much older than the contemporary telling of them. Um, and so usually that means I end up doing something that's an independent film, but when this script came along and I saw that this was an opportunity to tell these old stories in a way that's bigger and immersive, it's IMAX and it's 3D, it's huge, and we're talking about one of the greatest myths of all time. Um, I, I couldn't resist. Kong is such a huge part of, of the mythology of cinema and it tells this incredible story that is really timely dealing with the issues that we're still dealing with today when it comes to man versus nature. So if we want to talk about agriculture or war, these huge things that we are still grappling with as human beings and trying to find a way instead of fighting with something to actually work with it. And I think this is such a great way of telling that story in a way that's still fun and entertaining and interesting to watch. I think there's something really beautiful about the fact that Kong is king. I mean, he's the biggest thing on this island and yet he, he doesn't choose to use that power in a way that's harmful. He defends when he needs to, but for the most part, he's actually a quite peaceful character. So I think there's something quite uh, lovable and redeeming about that fact that it kind of reminds me, maybe this is a stretch, but I just remember the first time I ever was with an elephant. <laughs> And I was like completely intrigued and totally terrified at the same time. Like I kept taking a step closer and then running away and then coming up closer because there's this gentleness to their soul. But at the same time, you know that they ha are the one with the upper hand. They can crush you at any moment and yet they don't. And there's something really wonderful about that. We've taken bits from Hawaii, Australia, and Vietnam. Vietnam in particular is very special because it's never been captured on film before in this way in these locations. Um, but everything is in a lot of ways, untouched. Um, we're trying to get the get nature in its raw form and its wildness and show the diversity of the island, that the, the island isn't just a place that looks specifically like one thing. As you continue to travel through it, you see the variations. There's desert, there's trees that look like they're falling apart, there's trees that are also squishy, um, there's rivers. Um, and so having that play of there being parts that are more dry and parts that are more lush, um, add to a texture of the film. Hey Lisa here, so you're a movie lover? Well, in this day and age we see hundreds of movies a year in numerous genres like action, comedy, romance and more. Some of these movies are great and some just don't live up to our expectations. For all you movie lovers out there, here are some interesting facts from movies that you might or might not know. In the movie Carrie, the end of the movie was shot in reverse order, a technique of the film to make scenes look more ghost-like. A close viewing of the film will show cars moving in reverse. What do the 101 Dalmatians and Wendy from Peter Pan have in common? The 102 characters are the only characters in Disney's past to have both of their parents present and alive for the whole course of the movie. Gone with the Wind producers were fined $5,000 for allowing obscenities in the film's dialogue. The offensive and expensive word, damn. One of the films Will Smith is best known for almost didn't happen. The actor didn't want to participate in Men in Black until his wife persuaded him otherwise. In the film Monsters, Inc., Boo has a woody doll. That's the famous cowboy from Toy Story. Gilderoy Lockhart from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was based on a former boyfriend of writer J.K. Rowling. I Know Who Killed Me, starring Lindsay Lohan, has had the most Razzie Awards ever given to a film. Now, the Razzies are awards for the worst in movies. So, did you know any of these facts? Did you find them interesting? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.